here's an email from Melanie. She says, Dr. Berman, my husband just yeses me to death, but never does anything. If I ask him to help with laundry or the kids, it's always, sure, no problem. And then he forgets. And he does it in front of other people, too. When we have company, I'll ask him to get something from the garage, etc. He'll say, okay, but then get caught in a conversation. When I remind him, he rolls his eyes and makes jokes about how demanding I am and cracking the whip. And it makes me look like the bad one. I just want him to do what he says, not placate me with yes and nothing happens. What do you think here? How do I get him to be true to his word? Yeah, Melanie, I mean, I think this is an interesting thing because obviously it's super important to you that someone does what they say they're going to do. And you married a guy that doesn't do that. I mean, I'm sure he shows up or hopefully he shows up in the really important ways. But in this kind of thing, he gets distracted and doesn't follow through. And that could be something that has nothing to do with you. It could be. I mean, I have a tendency to be that way when I'm ADDing, you know, when I'm like in my ADD mode and I've been really stressed and not really taking care of my symptoms or taking medication. You know, I. Yes. That is exactly what I'll do. Someone will ask me to do something, I'll say yes, and then I get into a distracting conversation or something else shiny captures my attention, and I don't finish what I set out to do. And so it could be something as innocent as that, and he just forgets or gets distracted, and you're taking it personally. But this idea of him being true to his word is very rigid in you. It's very tight in you, and that's what he's responding to. When you say to him, you know, you didn't go to the garage and get that thing during the party, the reason he's saying that about cracking the whip is not because you're reminding him, but probably because of the judgment and, you know, kind of crankiness with which you're saying it. Honey, I told you why you still haven't gone and gotten the cups from the garage. You know, that's going to make him react versus if you say, honey, remember the garage, you got distracted again. Like that's how you have to manage it. If you want to read a really good book for being in love with someone with ADD and see if you recognize your husband in that, um, it is called Married to Distraction. (laughs) And it's by... um, One of the leading experts in adult ADD, this guy named Ned Hallowell. Uh, He's an interesting guy. uh, The book he wrote for people with ADD is Driven to Distraction, and the one for their partners is Married to Distraction. So check it out, because I think it'll give you a lot of highlights. Uh, You'll see a lot of yourselves in it, and it will also give you some resources for managing the symptoms a little bit better than you're managing them right now. Okay? Good luck. You call, too. If you need some help, I'm here for you at 855-5-UNCOVER. 